Welcome to the channel, Smart Kiddos. Today we'll be continuing the Scratch It series. So in the previous videos, I taught you guys how to make projects in Scratch It, and we also created a playlist which teaches Python for kids and beginners very, very simple. So if you haven't seen those videos, please do check them out later. What are we going to learn today in this video? Today we're going to learn how to make a maze game in Scratch. So let's start. Here I'm going to first rename this project to Maze Game. Now I'm going to choose a character. So I'm going to delete Scratch Cat and go to the Scratch Library. Hmm, what will I choose? I'll choose the bat. Okay, now let's make the maze. So I'm going to go to Backdrops and select the rectangle tool and make different kinds of rectangles. Now, let's design this maze. I'm going to use the paint tool to make spooky designs for the maze. Let's add a spooky backdrop to this maze. I'm going to go to choose a backdrop and choose blue sky 2. Then I'm going to copy paste this backdrop and paste it here. Then I'm going to make this back layer. I'm going to make this maze a little more spookier. I'm going to add a few elements. I added colors and shapes to this background. Now, let's move on. Let's add levels to this maze. I am going to duplicate this backdrop. And I'm going to make a few changes. I added extra shapes to each level. So what we have done here is we have duplicated another backdrop. And you can see the rectangles are like this. For this one, we didn't add that small rectangle here. And for this one, you can see it's like this. So this is what we have done. So you can see here, the obstacles are different and the design looks different. Now let's start with the code. I'm gonna go to the bat sprite and change the size to 50. Okay, so I've added lines of code for the bat to move right, left, up, and down. So what have I done? Well, when the green flag is clicked, forever loop. Forever loop means whatever the lines of code inside the forever loop will work any time we click on the green flag or start the program. Now here are the codes inside the forever loop. First is if key right arrow pressed, meaning we click on the right arrow key in our keyboard, change X by 10. So X is the horizontal line and change X by 10 means it will move to the right because 10 is a positive number. Next inside the forever loop is if key left arrow is pressed, meaning we click on the left arrow key in our keyboard, change X by negative 10. So still the horizontal line, but it'll move to the left because this is a negative number. Next, we have inside the forever loop, if key up arrow pressed, meaning if we click on the up arrow key in our keyboard, change Y by 10. So now Y is the vertical line and Y by 10 means it'll move up because 10 is a positive number. And finally, inside the forever loop, if key down arrow pressed, meaning the down arrow key is pressed in our keyboard, change Y by negative 10. So still the vertical line, but it'll move down because this is negative 10. Now, I just wanted to change some things to the backdrops because if we do, then the code, the following code will work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this obstacle into a different color. And I'll tell you why. Because if we make it into a different color, then our code will work and it won't get confused with the other designs. So you can see I'm making the rectangle red and also the outline for the rectangle red as well. And you can see no other um, 
design here is red. So the following code which we will teach you guys will work perfectly and will not get mixed up or confused. So please remember to do the obstacles a different color from the other things. I've added extra lines of code for the bat sprite and I will explain you what it does. Whenever we click on the green flag, forever, if it touches the color red, which I'll change in front of you now, then we want it to go to the position where it started. Your position can be anything you want to be. So let's test this now. Wow! Isn't it fun? Now we're going to add some extra things, which is levels, right? We want it to go to the next level once we pass this level. How? Well, let me show you. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go to backdrops and we're going to go to events and drag a when clicked. Let me zoom it in for you so you can see. So when clicked, we're going to go to looks and we're going to drag switch backdrop and we're going to select the backdrop one. Okay, so whenever we start the program, it should go to backdrop one. So this is backdrop one. Okay, and the bat will try to pass or dodge these obstacles. Okay, now how can I go to level two? There is no ending. So we need to make the ending. So we're going to go to choose a sprite and we're going to scroll down and we're going to click on this check mark so we're going to drag this check mark over here i have a few lines of code over here so let me explain it to you whenever we click on the green flag we want it to go to a particular position so that's why we added the go to block forever it will check if it's touching the bat then it will wait for some amount of time. Then it will switch to the next backdrop. Now remember, this is only for the checkmark sprite, not for the bat sprite. Let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to click on the green flag. Wait, what's going on? Well, the problem is that it's already on the finish line. So we need to make sure the bat goes to the initial position. To do that, we can drag a go-to block inside the bat sprite. Whenever the bat touches the green check, the maze does go to the next level, but the bat doesn't go to the initial position. It's still at the down left position. So we want to change that code. Go to check mark. It touches the bat. We're gonna drag a broadcast. So a broadcast is like a certain sprite tells another sprite what to do and it passes information through a broadcast. So I'm gonna name this broadcast to bat so i'm gonna go over here and drag when i receive bat then i want it to go to the initial position so let me drag a go to block now let's test this out Okay, so I'm aiming for the green check. Then I go to the starting position. I again aim for the green check. And it takes me to the third backdrop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye!